Today I'm going to change the oil for the onboard generator of our Winnebago Vita motorhome. The generator is an Onen QG3600 LP model. This generator uses propane gas. All right, we're getting ready to change the oil on my generator. It's got almost 20 hours on it. Uh, Onen recommends changing it after the first 20 hours. This is the LP generator. So I'm just going to uh, start it up, let it run for about five or ten minutes to get good and warmed up before I change oil. So we'll start it up here. And we're going to let that run for just a little bit. Okay, my generator's been running for about ten minutes now, under load with the air conditioner on, so I'm just getting ready to shut things off, and then we'll go outside and change the oil. We'll hit the off button here. All right, things we need to get this oil change done. First, we've got to have some oil. We've got two quarts here. It calls for 1.6 quarts. I'm using Castrol 30 weight. Um, you can use several different multigrade oils too. The 30 weight gives me a little bit higher temperatures for here in Arizona stuff, over 100 degrees. I've got just a regular ratchet with a 12 millimeter deep socket to get the drain bolt off. There's a T30 Torx drive to uh, get the cover off to access the drain bolt. Uh, extension if I should need it. Got a torque wrench uh, to torque the drain bolt when I'm all done. 27 newton meters is what the manual calls for. I'm sure just snug tight is, is fine too. Got a um, funnel there to put the new oil in and a drain pan just to catch the oil. And uh, that's about all I can think of that we need for this job. Should be a quick one. Okay, after the generator sat for just a few minutes, let the oil all drain back down. I like to check the oil. So we'll take this cover off. Be extra careful now. Everything is really hot. So, all right. And I'm going to check the oil before I change it. Everything is hot from just running it and warming it up. So we'll see how this plays out. Take the dipstick out, wipe it off. To check the oil the way the manual says on this, you put the dipstick back in. You don't screw it in. Just set it there, pull the dipstick back out, and we can see that I'm right about half on the dipstick level. So it gives me a good baseline on where I'm at, and uh, so I'll know when I get done about where I should be. Okay, I think I got the camera underneath there with a little bit of light so we can see what's going on. I'll crawl under here. I've got my drain pan, got some extra napkins, got some gloves on. First thing we're going to do is take off these two T30 bolts with the torque dryer here. Set that aside. Some people just move this around to the side like that. I don't know. I don't think it's either way. It's probably fine. I was going to take it out, but no big deal. And let's see. I'm going to grab our 12 millimeter deep socket. Loosen this up, and I'm going to attempt to measure how much oil is coming out of here. I don't know how this will work. And we'll let that fill up. put a different bucket under there and like I said all I'm trying to do is just measure how much is coming out this first time all right we'll let that drain for a few minutes and see what we got I do take the oil cap off also when I let it drain just to make sure it all vents good through there and drains out nice and fast Okay, I just wanted to show this drain plug bolt uh, after I got it out. There is an aluminum drain plug washer also that goes on there, and typically I'd replace that washer with a new one, but I don't have one at this time, so I'm just going to reuse that one. Keep my eye on it, make sure it doesn't drip. If it does, I guess I'll have to replace it later, but I think we'll be good. I drained the old oil out into some measuring cups. I wanted to get an idea how much oil uh, was coming out of this thing. 
it uh, calls for 1.6 um, quarts of oil. So on the left, I got my 32 ounces as one quart. And then on the one on the right, I got an additional um, just under 20 ounces. So I think that uh, 1.6 is about 51 ounces total. So it looks like the exact right amount came out. And we should be good to put this back in and or put new oil in. in. And again, I'm using the uh, Castrol 30 weight on this. So um, yeah, let's get that drain plug back in, torque down, and we'll put some oil in it. Crawl back underneath this thing. And I'm just going to dry these threads off a little bit, or the meeting surface a little bit, make sure there's no oil around. And start my drain plug with the gasket up in there. Get a finger tight. And get my torque wrench around in here. Have a tight fit. And up. All right. After we get that torqued, I'm going to leave this open for a little bit just so I can double check, make sure I don't have any leaks. Then I'll come back down underneath here and we'll button that up here in just a minute. So let's go back up on top and uh, put in some oil. Now that we've got our drain plug back in, we can just dump in, uh, get some of our oil here. Ready to go. I use a short funnel and we'll just dump this oil right in there. It's really a pretty simple oil change on this. No filter involved on the on the uh, LP anyway. I believe the diesel generator does have a screen that you need to take out and clean. But uh, there's one quart. Now I'm putting in my uh, 0.6 of the other quart. I think that's about all there is to it. I'm going to go inside, start the generator up, and uh, run it for just a little bit. Get my getting an idea where I'm at on oil. Looks like I'm about in the same spot as I was. All right, I think we can even start it up from out here. I don't even have to go back inside, so we can just hit the uh, the start button here. And we'll let that run. We'll let that run for just a minute, and uh, come back and check it. All right, should be good and warmed up again. She's warm, and uh, you don't want to run it very long without the cover on it because that does help with the airflow and cooling of it. But for a couple minutes, it's okay. But um, before we button that up, I'm going to let the oil drain all back down. Check the oil one more time. Then I'll check, uh, we'll check underneath the um, drain plug area. Make sure it all looks good there. Put the little cover on and we should be good to go. All right, now that we've run it for a little bit and got things warmed up, I'm just going to crawl underneath here. Make sure I don't have any weird leaks on the oil drain plug. Everything looks good there. We'll slide the cover back over. And tighten our bubble ball little bolts here. And again, these don't have to be very tight. Just going to snug them up a little bit. And that should be it. All right, I think we got the oil change done. We've run the generator again to warm it up. I'm going to unscrew my uh, dipstick one more time. I'll wipe it off just to check the final level. And we're right at about half of a dipstick again. I like that. We'll screw that in tight. 
give everything a good look over. I've cleaned everything already and uh, the generator seems to be still like new operating condition. So we'll get this uh, cover put back on. And so that's it. I think we've got the oil changed. Um, real simple job. I think if anybody wants to do it themselves, they shouldn't have any problem at all. Very minimal tools need and only about 1.6 quarts of oil. So yeah, it should be a pretty easy job.